cry, we cry, we cry, we cry, and then we go home and then we go look for more options. Well, before we cry, I would like to announce you that I'll be on GeekTube podcast with chat on November 17. Here's the banner. Uh, it'll be pretty fun. Uh, he does this uh, with other gig tubers and gig workers every Wednesday. So go check his channel and save this date, uh, November 17 at 8 p.m. Um, Florida time, which is Eastern time. So yeah, go check it out, save the date, and we'll see you there on that uh, podcast live stream. I'll remind you later. Hey everyone, welcome back to a self-employed investor journey. Jose Martinez here. Glad you are back in this channel. And if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I wanted to uh, make this video, uh, I think most of you know already what kind of geeks I've been working on and what I do when Instacart is slow, uh, which has been for me this past week. I mean, all this week, today is Wednesday. It's been slow on Monday, Tuesday, and today. But in fairness, I've also been slow. I think I'm really, really exhausted. I haven't taken any days off since August 6th. That was my brother's birthday. I actually took a day off when I was packing all my stuff when I moved from Atlanta to Texas. Uh, but I haven't uh, taken any day off since since then. So um, I'm really exhausted. Uh, today I did work uh, a few hours only. I think I made like $50 maybe. Uh, but tomorrow I'm traveling to Atlanta. I'm going to take this weekend off. So to the topic of the video. Um, on Tuesday, uh, the day was super, super slow and I started driving Lyft and I got a very nice trip in the morning. Um, it was like uh, one hour and 15 minutes. So after that trip, I had to come back uh, empty. Uh, I was still looking for uh, Instacart orders. I just got one for $26 and then I made an Amazon block for $90 excuse me, which saved the day. So uh, the concept of multi-apping is something that you have to consider if you want to do this gig economy full time, because not every day we're going to have big orders on, on, on Instacart, like the one that I missed today. <laughs> For some reason, I didn't swipe on that. I swear I saw a bigger one, but no, and I missed that 67 and um, I just made like, I don't know, 20 bucks today, 25, something like that on, on Instacart. And then I made uh, a $30 block on Amazon. But uh, yeah, I'm really tired. So I decided to come back home and pack everything for tomorrow's trip. Uh, but yeah, you have to consider these things uh, when you are doing gig economy full time. Uh, do not depend on just one app. And you have to do your own homework. What are the apps that work on your area? Uh, it can be, if you don't like like Rideshare, like Lyft or Uber, then you need to find uh, some other apps or some other uh, source of income to get to your goals. Like yesterday, I did get to my goal, which is uh, just over $200. I did $240. Uh, but Monday, I did only 150 and today, like I said, only like 50 bucks. So yeah, uh, consider that uh, if you really like uh, the gig economy and the flexibility that it brings uh, to us. At least that's the best thing for me that I can manage my own time and that I can take days off whenever I want. I can start working whenever I want and I can still get to my goals. Uh, most of the time, I, I'm not going to say I make $300 every day because I'm not making that money. Uh, but I try to. When something is slow, I just go uh, online right away on, on Lyft or I try to look for Amazon blogs. And if I have blogs schedule and I'm doing really good on Instacart, I just cancel my blogs and keep on, on, on Instacart. And yeah, your routine is going to be changing every day. Uh, even when you have schedule blocks, I always prior that have priority uh, Instacart. So yeah, there is more options. I haven't finished the sign up process on uh, Walmart Spark. I really want to try that to see 
how good it pays i think it's delivery only so it should be very easy and also uh deliver that i have i have here of that and also point pickup uh, i want to try those uh, it's not like i really want to but i will do just to try and show you how the process is uh, and hopefully that works uh, really good in your area if Instacart is not giving you the results that it used to or the results that you want uh, so yeah and if you have tried it let us know in the comments how good how bad it is uh, and what other uh, options you have seen on your area that everyone else can probably try so yeah that's basically it uh, what I do when Instacart is slow I jump into Lyft and I keep looking for blogs on Amazon and at the same time uh, I still keep uh, Instacart online so when I see a notification of a good patch I go and, and I shop uh, that way I can get to my uh, goals every day and I don't get like stressed about being you know all days in the stores it can be also very uh, stressful especially on the weekends and now that the holidays are coming uh stores can get really really packed consider that and hopefully this brings more ideas on how you can uh, plan your days and uh, what what tools what apps uh, you can choose during the day so that you can get to your goals every single day and yep that's all for uh this video it's just very quick uh very basic and probably repetitive on uh, on some of the videos that i've made already uh but yeah so this weekend i'll be traveling in atlanta there's a wedding there is party hopefully i get the 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 time that i need for myself and to enjoy with friends if you see me in atlanta say hi and if you see me on tiktok go say hi on tiktok i'm gonna plug my uh, my tiktok there we're having a lot of fun i i started to love tiktok it's really fun so yeah see you there and thank you for watching don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel Ooh. beautiful place bye